I'm back. Rodrance for the Black and White Network. Well, when it comes to woke legacy media, different pundits out there, different people with shows, there's a lot of infamous ones, especially ones that hated Trump. Joy Reid, Keith Oberman, Jamel Hill, Samantha B of TBS. She had a show called Full Frontal with Samantha B. And she has been on a nonstop barrage of Trump hate and Republican hate for seven seasons now. Uh, Stephen Colbert, some of them other ones the same way. Well, unfortunately for Samantha B, but fortunately for us, Samantha B has gotten the axe. She is out of there. TBS has canceled her. Huh, funny. So goes Joe Biden's presidency. So goes a drop from the media in one of their shows. One of his uh, biggest supporters is now out of there. Thank God. Full Frontal with Samantha B. Canceled by TBS. This is Breitbart. She once called Ivanka Trump a fleckless C-word. Yeah, this is a real treasure. A real treasure. Full Frontal with Samantha B. Won't return to TBS in the fall. The latest apparent victim of Discovery Takeover of Warner Media, which has caused an upheaval throughout the corporation, including at CNN. In announcing its cancellation, the show couldn't resist one final dig at Trump by referencing January 6th. Good grief. After seven seasons, Full Frontal with Samantha B will not be returning to TBS this fall. We're so thankful for the lunatics that watched our show, our amazing team, and that we got to annoy the right people every week that there wasn't wrestling or baseball or a very special episode of Big Bang. To our loyal fans, we love you. You're very special. Go home and go home in peace. Samantha B. consistently used her ratings challenge show to push, push a leftist agenda, whipping up anger against then-President Donald Trump and his family. Her signature hectoring tone combined with feminist rage with left-wing smugness, a noxious concoction that endured her to Democratic elites but repelled general viewers. Yeah, common sense Americans would never in a million trillion years watch this tramp, leaving her in the ratings dust compared to other late-night comedians. In her most infamous episode, which aired 2018, the comedian called Ivanka Trump a fleckless C-word during a rage-filled monologue about the White House's illegal immigration policies, specifically separations at the border. By the way, it says here that she abu once abused a woman. Maybe we'll get to that. I don't know if it'll talk about it. B later apologized after advertisers started dropping her show. Quote, I would like to sincerely apologize to Ivanka Trump and to my viewers for using an expletive on my show to describe her last night. B said in a statement, I'm sure the very few elite leftists that were watching probably applauded you. It was inappropriate and inexcusable. I crossed the line. I deeply regret it. The comedian recently called on her fans to harass Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito, who penned the high court majority opinion overturning Roe v. Wade. On her show last month, she told her viewers to, quote, raise hell in every restaurant Alito eats at for the rest of his life. If Republicans have made our lives hell, it's time to return the favor. Really? Jesus. While Kyle Rittenhouse was acquitted this year, B complained that, quote, this was not justice, while falsely claiming that Rittenhouse had incited violence, when in fact the jury concluded, of course, he acted in self-defense. B also attacked Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, calling him a racist who should eat shit. The comedian launched her show in, on TBS in 2016, following a long stint as a correspondent for... The Daily Show with John Stewart. Well, it looks like another one of those radical extreme leftist media pundits has gone the way of the dodo bird. Much like Keith Oberman. Keith Oberman's still out there raising hell on Twitter. 
He just can't seem to get a job. I'm sure somehow, some way, Samantha B will will uh, latch herself on to some slithering, uh, low-budget television station, i.e. Vice, where all the release pundits go, like Jamel Hill. Who knows? Who cares? She's gone. Thank God. I couldn't stand her. Uh, she was a lunatic. Everybody that was white and Republican was racist, sexist, homophobic, you name it. She ran the political pundit gambit. Whatever it is, she's out. So am I. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Baker, Baker.